uh, I just want to uh, use this opportunity uh, to talk briefly. They yeah, had to talk briefly about the Obrafo lawsuit against Drake. Uh, you may have heard Obrafo sued Drake for $10 million uh, for sampling his Oyohimi uh, track. Uh, there is a particular line in there that says, Kill the cardio, kill the cardio. So he sued him for that. Um, here is um, the evidence. You can look at this too. Compare Drake's uh, calling my name to the Oyohini, um, and you see why O'Brien um see Drake. Now, that lawsuit is in jeopardy as we speak. Because my heart it beats different rhythm. Kill a cut blind, 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 kill a cut, kill a cut blind, kill a cut. That lawsuit is in jeopardy as we speak because another person has come out to claim rise to the same line in the Abrafo uh, uh, case. So the danger is that guy is claiming that he has the original rise to that particular line and Hammer used it in Abrafo's song. So if there's anybody to consult, it is not a brother, but him. Um, let's read the tweet together. Um, the, there are a series of tweets, so we'll go through them and you see what this guy is talking about. Manche, Ayukwe, aka Chalawati 2023, uh, claims that he is the he owns the right to the killer cat. The Drake sample in the song and not Obrafo. And that the, the line was used by Hammer of the last two in Obrafo's song. And he's instead his lawyer, Kofi Bental, uh, to deal with Drake's team. And that if they want uh, to contact the rice owner, it is it should be him and not Obrafo. So this is what he came out uh, with moments after Bradford's claim that that now let's look at this. Per copyright regulations and in music in the music industry, I've read a bit about it. Whoever pays for the final copy of the masters own the rights to whatever quantum that is in it. So the question is, did Obrafo pay for the production of the track? We know in Ghana, it is common practice for uh, a producer to use a certain line. In, in, in uh, or more or less, they call it signature. Uh, we know appearances appearance in the mix. Hammer used to be the last two, and he could be killed the cat or whatever they call it. Uh, and so if a musician uses that in the line, and this guy is claiming that he is the original um, copyright owner to that line, question is, what is his evidence? Did he register that? And if he did, did O'Brien pay him for using that line in his in his music? If he did, then O'Brien has a right to see Drake for using the music, that line in his music. Now the gentleman is claiming that even if O'Brien is laying claim, he cannot do that alone. He must do it with the involvement of Hammer and him. And that his lawyer was going to contact Drake to discuss the issue. And, and I'm sitting and I'm saying, wait a minute, why are we behaving like crabs in the bucket? This issue could easily be humbles, handled nicely between uh, Obrafo, Hammer and this dude. 
If you claim that it is your line, that is in the music, sit with your Bradford's team, hammer, and then you strike a deal. Okay, you are going to this lawsuit. If you make it, we deserve A, B, C, D. So that you sort this out, because chances are, with this new expose, you are both going to lose this opportunity. Because court could say that, well, they will throw a brand suit out. But what of you? So, and I do not know whether the guy is for real or he's acting, but he seems, you know, because he's referred to a lawyer, a famous lawyer in town. Bendel is not a small lawyer. Everybody knows him. So if he's saying that he will contact Drake, he means business. So I don't know what is going on. Chances are the lawsuit may get damaged because of the descendant voices. As for the lady called Ice Modi, let's forget about her. She's got nothing to say because if you sponsor somebody to produce a track, you didn't produce the intellectual content. You help the person. Do you have, if they ask her now, do you have the masters? Can she produce it? No. So you cannot say that because you borrowed, uh, somebody came to you to borrow money to do his music, he should pay you because he's seeing somebody who has used his intellectual property. That is BS. You know? So I, leave, I don't know what you think about, but leave your comments below. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, kindly hit the subscribe button. Uh, I will come your way with more. But my main mission is to show the light on African cultures, particularly my Northern Ghanaian cultures, my Bulusa culture, uh, because I think that we're being drummed out by more powerful cultures in Ghana. And if we don't fight, a lot of beautiful things about Africa are going to go under. They will go extinct. And the youth coming will have no opportunity to see these things. And that's why we do all these things we do. Thank you. Shalom. See you next time. I'll be responding to your comments. Bye-bye.